heart of Addis Ababa, Zauditu Hospital has been a lifeline for the community, a place where care and compassion come first. This is more than just a hospital. It's a story of transformation, fueled by the vision and generosity of its founders, who redefined its mission to provide exceptional care. For over 10 years, the partnership between Reach Another Foundation and Zoditu Hospital has shown us what's possible when people come together with a shared purpose. It's a statement to the incredible things we can achieve when collaboration meets heart. So what we realized is that you needed a dedicated space. You needed what we think of as a pediatric neurosurgical center where the doctors could come, the patients and the aftercare could be there. So, uh, since we had been working for years with Zaudi 2, we applied for a grant with the uh, Helmsley Charitable Trust, which is a, a funding organization out of the United States. And they have uh, given us two successive grants to help renovate uh, a building at Zaudi 2, four story um, building where it's a one stop shop. This renovation marks a turning point for the center, expanding its focus beyond spina bifida and hydrocephalus to become Ethiopia's first dedicated center of excellence for pediatric neurosurgery. Each truck that arrived loaded with advanced medical equipment marked a turning point in the hospital's transformation from hope to certainty. Each box unpacked and every machine installed is an indication of the generosity of the donors, bringing the promise of better care to life. So one of the bigger challenges is medical equipment. Because this uh, specific medical care is neurosurgical care and the medical equipments are expensive. So it's very difficult for a government hospital to fulfill all the necessary equipment in a short period of time. So we say, oh, what are the needed equipment in the list? So we found out some of the most you know, sophisticated and expensive medical equipment, like operating microscope, operating endoscopes, IC equipment, operation theater equipment, CT scan for diagnostic purpose. And these are very expensive equipment. So the major goal why we brought those equipment to this hospital is one, to make the healthcare delivery quality. Previously, for pediatric neurosurgery center, we don't have a separate uh, surgical intensive care units. So this new building it is well equipped with every equipment, including the incubators, the mechanical ventilators, and the radiant warmers. So, so uh, it has advanced uh, medical equipment. So these uh, equipment will greatly improve the outcome of uh, patients uh, after the surgery. Brick by brick, the new pediatric unit came to life. A result of months of dedication, collaboration, and a shared vision for a brighter future. More than just a place of care, this facility stands as a center, ready to meet the complex neurosurgical needs of Ethiopia's children. The transformation is uh, radical. We have been operating here for the past three years and the condition at the hospital was borderline uh, inadequate. I mean, the patients were having uh, a very substandard wards, substandard uh, attendant areas, and the, the service that we were giving was not adequate. But uh, with this transformation, we are able to give state-of-the-art service, both for our patients, their attendants, as well as we are able to do uh, a lot of uh, amazing procedures here we will be able to do those things. This building stands as a celebration of progress, a tangible outcome of belief and partnership. But this story is 
far from over. Ethiopia, the second most populous country in Africa, faces immense demand for specialized pediatric neurosurgery services. While this center at Zoditu Hospital is a step forward, one facility alone cannot address the needs of such a vast nation. Learning from this hospital, learning from this experience, one center is not enough, definitely. We are planning to expand and to replicate this uh, center outside of Addis Ababa, so definitely it needs funding. Most of quality are compromised during the referral, during the transport system, and these children definitely are a very precious children that need immediate care. While this chapter of progress comes to a close, it opens countless doors to opportunity. With every patient cared for, every life saved, and every skill shared, the legacy of this center will continue to inspire and transform lives across Ethiopia and beyond. <laughs>